In this video, I'll be talking about how mutations affect protein synthesis. Firstly, I'm going to give a quick background on how proteins are made. The first step is transcription. In this step, DNA is transcribed into mRNA. The second step is translation. Codons, which consist of three base pairs, are translated into amino acids. The third step is where amino acids chain together to create proteins. The amino acid chains fold into complex shapes, creating a unique protein. Now that you know how proteins are made, let's talk about how mutations affect them. Although there is a variety of mutations, I will be talking about frameshift mutations in this video. A frameshift mutation is a deletion or insertion of a single base pair. This change causes all of the following base pairs to either shift right or left. Now, let's apply this knowledge. In this example, we're given a normal protein and a mutant protein. First, let's use the chart to figure out the mRNA strand using the given amino acids. We also must make a note that multiple codons can be translated into the same amino acid. An example of this is glycine. The first two base pairs of glycine have to be guanine, but the last base pair could be cytosine, uracil, guanine, or adenine. Now, we do the same process for the mutant protein. The mutant protein doesn't have any amino acids after histidine, so we have to add in a stop codon as well. Now, it's time to compare the mutant and normal mRNA strands. When putting the strands side by side, you can see that the first and second codons are the same. The first difference between the two strands is the adenine and the mutant strand. If we add this adenine to the normal strand, the following base pairs would shift to the right. This shift causes the normal strand to become the mutant strand. Now, we can fill in the blanks using the new strand. The purple boxes depict the matching codons. This example shows that an insertion of a single base pair can alter the entire protein. Thanks for watching.